But now let's talk about how we can create an attributed graph like this. But here's a question. What do I mean by an attributed graph? So here we can see that our graph has features or let's say attributes. So for example, you can see that nodes have attributes, edges have attributes, and maybe the graph itself have attributes. So this is called attributed graph. So suppose that these people are five peoples in a small social network. So you can see that, for example, this node has some attributes. So for example, uh, she's a uh, she's female and she's 19 years old so the first attribute or let's say the first feature is age and the second one is gender and for example this one is 18 and male and this one is 22 and male this one is 21 and male and this is 20 and female and now suppose that the edges uh, shows the strength of the relationship. So for example, these two people are wife and husband, so the relationship is one. And for example, these two people are husband and wife, so the relationship is one. And for example, suppose that these three males are classmates. So for example, the relationship between these two guys is 0 0.80 because, for example, uh, both of them are almost at the same age and both of them are married. So, for example, their relationship is more strong, so it is 0 0.8. And, for example, the relationship of these two people is 0 0.6 and the relationship between B and C is 0 0.5. And if you remember in the previous videos of this series, we have talked about how to create a simple graph like this in Python. And now in this video, we are going to talk about how to make an attributed graph. So let's review this code, which we had in previous videos. So you can see in the first two lines, we are importing some packages. We import Matplotl for plotting. We import Network X for dealing with networks and graphs. And here we are defining a graph, a simple graph, and a simple undirected graph. And here we are adding some nodes. And here we are adding some edges. And these are the positions of each node. So these are the coordinates of each node. And here we are drawing all the stuff. So that was a quick review. But remember that we have talked about each line in previous videos in details. But now let's create an attributed graph like this. So let's delete all of these lines. So now we want to, first of all, define some nodes. And then we are going to define some edges. So here we can see that our first node is called A and it has two features, age and gender. So let's define that. So we simply type G, which is our graph. And then I simply type add node because you want to add a node. And the name of that node is A. And it has some features. So for example, the first one is age, which is 19. And remember that these names are totally arbitrary. So for example, it can pass age or you can pass whatever you want. So remember that these names are totally arbitrary. The features you can define are totally arbitrary. In this example, I want to define these two features, but you can define whatever features you want. So that's it. And the second feature is going to be, for example, let's say called gender, which is in this case, she's female. So we have to find node A. But now let's continue and define other nodes as well. So I'm going to fast forward the video. So you can see node B is 18 and he's male. So that's it. You can see that we have defined our five nodes. But now let's define and add the edges. So again, we simply type G, which is our graph. And then I use add edge because I want to add an edge. So between A and C, we have an edge. And the attribute of that is the weight. The corresponding weight is 1. But again, remember that these names are totally arbitrary. So for example, you can define other features. You can define other names for this feature. So remember that these features, these attributes are totally arbitrary. So you can do whatever you want. You can name it. You can name them whatever you want. And that's it. So let's define other edges as well. You can see that the weight of the edge BC is 0 0.5. So now you can see that we have added our edges as well. So now let's delete all of these empty lines. But now let's talk about how we can access to the edge attributes or let's say node attributes. 
So in order to do so, let's delete all of these plotting lines and I want to print something. So for example, I want to get the attributes of node A. So in order to do so, I simply type G, which is our graph, and then I simply type nodes because we want to get something from the nodes. And the node which we are interested in is node A. So now if I run the code, you can see these are the features of node A. So that's it. And also we can do the same thing for edges. So I simply type g.edges. And for example, I want to get the attributes of node AC. So I should define that in a tuple. So AC, so this is our edge, which is AC. So now if I run the code, you can see the weight of that edge is one. So as you can see so far, we have talked about how to define attributes for nodes and edges, but now let's talk about how we can define attributes for graph, so the entire graph. So for example, suppose that I want to define an arbitrary, for example, feature, let's say called name or whatever you want. For example, I want to define an arbitrary feature, let's say called name, but you can define other features if you want. So suppose that I want to define uh, that feature. So in order to do so, I simply type G, and then I want to define something about the graph itself. So I simply type G.graph, and I want to define a feature for that, an attribute for that, and the name of that attribute is going to be, for example, name. And for example, I want to name that graph, for example, let's say called my graph. That's it. That's a very simple example, but remember that the attribute is totally arbitrary. You can name it whatever you want. You can choose whatever feature, whatever attributes you want. So this is totally arbitrary. This is for example. So now once again, here, for example, if I want, let's delete all of these. And here, if I print a G dot graph, and if I run a code, you can see our graph has a feature called name, which is my graph, which the corresponding value is my graph. So that's it. So let's restore all the stuff. And you can see that these are for plotting purposes. So now let's talk about the other way. I mean, method two for defining nodes and their attributes and defining edges and their attributes. So the second method is to simply use this. We can simply use add nodes from a method in order to add nodes and their attributes. So we can pass a list of tuples. So this is a list of tuples. So for example, the first tuple is for node one, the second tuple is for node two, the third tuple is for node three, and etc. So you can see we have five nodes. So here we have five tuples. So in each tuple, we should define, first of all, we should define the name of that node. So for example, the first one is A, the second one is B, and etc. And also beside the name, we can pass a dictionary for the attributes of that node. So for example, for, suppose that node A has uh, some attributes, uh, for example, age and gender. So in order to do so, we define that we can simply type age and the age is 19. And for example, the gender is a female. So that's it. So if we can see that for the first node, this is its name. And this dictionary corresponds to the features of that node. So let's do the same thing for node B. So you can see here is node B and here is the attributes of node B in a dictionary format. And here is node C, and this is the attributes in a dictionary format. And also you can see that we have defined the attributes for node D and E respectively. So that's it. This was the second method in order to define the nodes and their corresponding attributes. So now let's delete all of these lines. And now let's talk about how we can add edges and their corresponding attributes in another way. So in order to do so, we can simply type G dot add edges from, and we can again pass a list of, we can pass a list of tuples. So for example, the first tuple is for the, for example, first edge, and the second one is for the second edge and etc. So the first edge which we want to add is AC, so it is A to C, 
and for example the corresponding weight so we, should, we can define a dictionary in order to add features for that specific edge so we can define a feature let's say called weight which is for example one and the second edge is for example between b and c so we simply type b and c and you can see the corresponding weight is 0 0.5 So that's it. You can see that we have defined the edges with this second method as well. So let's delete all of these. So now once again, let's delete all of these plotting stuff. And once again, if I print, for example, the attributes of node, for example, C, so you can simply, so you can simply type G dot nodes, and I want to get the attributes of node C. So if I run a code, you can see these are the attributes of node C. But now let's talk about how we can get the attributes or features of edge CD. So in order to do so, we can simply type g.edges and I can pass a tuple. So I can pass a tuple. So that, that is edge CD. So that's it. I want to get the features of edge CD. So I should type in that format. So if I run a code, you can see here is the result, which is the feature, or let's say the attribute of this edge. So that's it. So let's delete this line and let's restore the drawing codes for drawing the graph itself. So once again, if I run a code, so here is the result. And as you can see, so far we have talked about how to create an attributed graph. But here is another question. How can we draw an attributed graph like this? And this is a question that we are going to talk about in future videos in this series. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.